Okay, friends, so I've got the paper towel roll, and you can use the toilet paper uh, rolls for it too. Um, I am going to actually show you how you can transfer a one roll into a stunning three-dimensional uh, weaved heart. So the process is easy. You just got to fold your roll. As you can see it right now, it's good to create a nice crease right on the side because it's easier to cut and just cut it all along that line. And then when you do it, you cut another crease line. Simple as that, right? I mean, recording and um, in one hand and doing all that stuff is just not easy. I decided to stop uh, with my cutting right at this point because I do wanted to make the Mackenzie Child inspired uh, star. So I decided to simply paint it first, dry it really well, and you will notice that the toilet paper or the uh, paper towel rolls become super leathery when you apply something to it. So, okay, let's keep on folding. So now you had two strips. Now it's time to fold your edges again in half and cut um, again, because uh, we are on a mission to get four strips out of each half of the uh, uh, paper towels. I mean, in my cases, it's going to be actually um, four of white and four of black. I have to tell you, that was a completely experimental for me. I have never tried it before, but you know, I love to experiment. Okay, so all is cut, time to go to work. So what I like to do is just simply fold two pieces together, just like that, and hot glue them right at the ends. I think I need to uh, put that in a stand, my camera, so it's easier. Here we go, my camera is in a stand. We got four uh, pieces of each, and now I'm just going to add the hot glue to one, and I'm going to literally alter, alt, use, alternatively use uh, those two colors. So here we go. The bottom is glued, just like that. My goodness, much easier with the camera. I don't have to cut the camera. So now, because I glued the first strip on the top, uh, the black one we're talking about, we're going to attack literally side by side. So we're going to concentrate on the black uh, side now. So uh, because the first strip was glued on the top, the second goes on the bottom. And then you're going to take your third uh, a strip. Obviously, you do not need to make two colors. I thought actually I love Mackenzie Child, plus um, it's easier for you to see what I'm doing. So now the third one is installed on the top, and now the fourth one is going to be installed again on the bottom, just like that. And the tip as you install your strips is to install them less than a quarter of an inch apart, just as you can see is so you can barely see, um, you know, the space, but you do want to see it because that's all what the waving is all about. That's it. The one side is done. Okay, so let's move on to another side. Now we're going to take the other um, uh, color in my cases, and because I have one on it on the top, so I want, I mean, underneath, I'm going to install mine on the top now. So I just hot glue it on the back of my strip, and now I'm just going to weave. So that means is one goes under the darker one, and one goes under the light one. And now look at this, right off the bat, I made a mistake. No, I didn't, did I? No, I didn't. I did it good. Okay, so one underneath, one on the top. So now, yeah, I did make a mistake. <laughs> yeah, well, but I caught it in time. So here we go. As you can see it, now it's better. Here we go. Okay, now we're taking a third one because the third one was installed, the second one was installed on the top. We're going to install the third one on the bottom. But I'm not going to add the hot glue. I'm just going to weave first because I don't want to make a mess on my strips. And then I am going to lift the first black one, boom! And I'm going to re, um, reinforce my w weave uh, right there. Here we go. I've got already three strips installed. Here goes the third piece. Yeah, take your time um, with this whole thing. So now, of course, we do know that it goes, goes on the top. So I can apply um, right on the top of it and then weave it all around. So that means is it goes on the top. Then it goes under, and then it goes on the top, and then it goes under. That's it. Simple, right? I mean, you, it, it, the weaving seems to be, um, you know, very confusing. But when you see now two strips, you can see it perfectly. Okay, time to turn it over and um, work on the other side. Because remember, we're making a 3D heart. 
And now you're going to start from the middle. So that means as you're grabbing one side from the uh, uh, left side, I mean one strip from the left side and one from the right side, and you're going hot glue it the way you want it. And then you take another strip, and now again, we have to pay attention where do we install it. Because I've installed it on the top, the first white one, the second one goes underneath. And the first two strips are super easy to install. It gets a little bit complicated, but also super easy. And I am so glad that I've actually did it um, in two colors. So now I'm grabbing the second black strip. And then because the first one was installed under, the second one goes um, over now. So I'm weaving as I did on the other side because it's easier to just simply weave and then attach the hot glue to it because we're just trying to make as less mess as we can possibly make okay that's it is installed taking a third strip and you know moving on like that and in a lot of cases is when you have to install it under i like to weave first because it is easier so now i go there and then of course go under and i wanted to make sure that everything that i do is according to my pattern the weaved pattern I'm going to keep this video in the same paste as I was installing it so you can really reinforce it. But again, it's all about going in and out um, and weaving it all along. And it's again, when you finish with one, you add uh, the second one. And just like that, the little heart is uh, forming together. But notice the arms, the, t the higher portion of the, uh, of the heart. Um, where um, all those strips crisscross create another fun little detail right there. Absolutely love the way it looks. So glad that I decided to make in two colors. So glad that I actually decided to make that 3D heart. I used to make uh, those hearts with my mom. We used to make them as a part of the garlands. We used to add the tassel to the bottom and have a nice door hangers. We used to make so many things. And um, I am so glad that I still remember. As they say, um, when you learn how to ride a bike, you will always remember, even if you you do have a break um, riding one so I'm on my way um, you know showing you and I so hope that I am inspiring you and as you can see is it is a super budget friendly fun and when we are going to be done with it I promise you are not going to know that that was made out of paper towel rolls or toilet paper rolls Okay, we are at the last strip and I am trying to see what I can possibly um, adjust here. But it does seem like we are pretty good. Look at this. If we're going to hot glue the ends of it, uh, I mean the uh, the top, uh, the, the tippy points, you're going to have a nice three-dimensional heart just like that. Absolutely love this. Super pleased that I've made it. So now... Um, you could actually put the Mod Podge on it. You could, um, you know, just um, add some kind of sealer. But, you know, I always go for the easy way. I do have a gloss finish in the uh, in a spray that I'm just going to spray all over my heart. Look how awesome it looks. It has a gorgeous sheen to it. I know I'm going to repeat a few of those coats so it will actually um, stay glossy because paper towels, I mean, paper towel rolls or toilet paper rolls have a tendency tendency of um, sucking all in. And then I've just added a tiny little butterfly to it, highlighted a little bit with the uh, um, gold paint, and I absolutely love my little heart. So I so hope that inspired you, and I so hope that uh, you're going to make one for yourself. If you did miss some of the details, make sure to check the description of the post, because there are pictures step by step how to make one. Thanks for watching. Bye.